BF was making fun of my dad with his friends, so I told them his sister got divorced for embezzling money for IVF, now his family wants to sue me for defamation. So I, 27F, have been with my boyfriend, 27M, for three years. We have been living together for the past six months and things have been good. We went out for dinner with a couple of his friends a few days ago but there, he started making fun of my dad so I snapped at him and revealed something awful about his family in the heat of the moment. For context, my father, 58M, is a retired businessman and he's kind of eccentric. He handed over the reins to my older brother, 32M, a few months ago so he could spend more time at home and since then, he has a lot of free time on his hands. He told me to create a YouTube channel for him so he could make commentary videos on current affairs and stuff and then he could show that to his friends. I did it for him and even taught him how to record videos and upload them so he would have an easier time doing it on his own. He posts videos almost every other weekend and he only has 12 subscribers. But it's really cute and it's not harming anyone, he usually only has funny takes on whatever's happening in the world right now and tries to put a funny spin on stuff. It's harmless and fun and keeps him busy, so when my boyfriend and his friends were making fun of it, I really didn't find it funny. One of them was talking about starting a YouTube channel and my boyfriend started acting really snarky and said that my father was a budding YouTuber, so he would probably know more about it than all of them combined. And then he brought out his phone and started playing one of my dad's videos. He was showing it around to everyone at the table and all his friends were laughing like crazy. But I didn't feel comfortable with it because I could tell that they were not laughing because of how funny my dad was but they were laughing at him since they found it ridiculous. I tried to tell my boyfriend that this was enough and I wasn't okay with this by whispering to him but he told me to stop being such a baby and loosen up a bit. I got really pissed off by that because it felt like he didn't care about my feelings and only wanted validation from his friends. I also didn't appreciate him letting his friends make fun of my dad and laugh at his expense while I was sitting right there. So I said that since we were talking about family and the funny things that our families do, then we should also discuss how his sister had to get divorced because she was caught embezzling money while working for her father-in-law. The entire table fell silent when I said that because nobody knew the real reason that my boyfriend's sister had to get divorced. Everybody thought that it happened due to compatibility issues. His sister had been married to her husband for just a year after dating for two. Six months into their marriage, she quit her job and started working in her husband's family business instead. But then later she was caught embezzling money and she told them that she was doing it because she needed the money for personal expenses. By that, she meant IVF because she'd been struggling with getting pregnant but her husband wasn't ready to go for IVF and dip into their savings just yet, so she decided to steal money instead. It had been crazy and she almost got arrested but since it would create a stir and his family didn't want that negative rep, her husband decided to quash the news and they ended it by just firing her and getting divorced. Since then, my boyfriend's sister has been living with her parents and has been unemployed for almost a year since the divorce. Nobody knew about this because my boyfriend and his family had been very careful about who they could trust. My boyfriend had gone against his parents' instructions and told me about this last year when it happened. So I was one of the very few people who knew the truth and I had stayed quiet about it. But when he started making fun of my dad with his friends, I couldn't let it go and I just blurted it out, without thinking of the consequences. After a few minutes of silence, my boyfriend got up and left the table and I followed him a couple of seconds later. We had driven to the restaurant in my car so that's where I headed when I got to the parking lot but my boyfriend was nowhere to be seen. I waited for 15 minutes but then I decided to drive home instead because I didn't think he was going to show up. And I was right because I waited the entire night and he still didn't come back home. I even called a couple of his friends to find out where he was but none of them were answering the calls. I also called his parents but they didn't respond either. I regretted saying what I said in the heat of the moment but I also didn't think that it was fair of him to make fun of my dad and expect me to be okay with it. The next day, I didn't go to work and waited for him to come back home instead. He finally came back home around the evening and he was in fresh clothes, so I knew that he hadn't just been wandering around aimlessly and had spent the night at either his parents' place or with one of his friends. He ignored me and pretended that I wasn't even sitting in the living room when he walked into the house. He looked straight ahead and went to the bedroom and locked himself in. I waited for him to come out but when he didn't, I decided to go knock on the door of the bedroom. He still didn't respond to me, even as I kept knocking for almost 5 minutes. I started getting really annoyed, so I started banging on the door instead and told him to come out of the room. I had a lot of stuff in the room as well and it belonged to me just as much as it did to him. But instead of opening the door, he yelled at me from inside the room and told me to leave him alone, that I had lost the right to even speak to him after what I did the other day. I was getting extremely annoyed because he was acting as if I was the only one who had said things that they shouldn't have and he was just completely innocent. So I told him that the only reason I had brought up his sister's divorce was because he was making fun of my dad right in front of me and allowing all his friends to laugh at his expense while telling me not to intervene. So he told me that what he did wasn't even meant to be insulting and I was taking it personally only because I was embarrassed of what my father was doing online. I honestly don't think that it's true because I have shown my dad's videos to lots of other people, like my friends and even some co-workers, and they have found it amusing. So his theory that I was embarrassed of what my father was doing and that's why I lashed out at him instead was invalid. 
but he insisted that he didn't mean to make it seem like he was laughing at my dad's expense and said that he was appalled that I had such a low opinion of him. He reminded me that I had shown him my dad's video several times before this, ever since he started posting it on YouTube and he had always been supportive of it, so it wouldn't make sense for him to make fun of it now. And then I explained to him that I thought he was showing it around to his friends and letting them laugh at my dad because he wanted their validation. He couldn't exactly blame me for thinking along those lines when that's exactly what it looked like. He got even more defensive when I said that and told me that he was secure enough in himself and wasn't a teenage guy who needed his friends to laugh at his jokes just to feel vindicated. He then told me that even if that's exactly what he was doing and whatever I was saying was true, I still had no right to bring up something so personal just to get back at him. His sister's divorce had been a really bad time for him and his family and I had made a mockery of it by bringing it up in front of his friends. He said that I had humiliated him and his family and that could never face his friends again, thanks to me. He didn't think that his making fun of my dad warranted such an extreme reaction. We kept going in circles until he finally opened the door of the bedroom and let me in. He seemed extremely upset and told me that what I had said was a thousand times worse than what he had done and that there was just no comparison between the two. I told him that he hurt me when he was making fun of my dad and in the heat of the moment, I ended up saying something that I really shouldn't have and I did regret it. But if he continued to defend himself instead of just apologizing to me for hurting my feelings, then we would never reach a conclusion. He paused for a second and then told me that I still didn't understand the gravity of what I had done. Then he informed me that his parents were planning on filing a defamation lawsuit against me for talking about his sister's divorce among his friends. I thought that he was joking but then he told me that he was quite serious. He had gone to his parents' house after dinner and had spent the night there. He had told them everything and they were very upset with me. My boyfriend told me that they now wanted me to apologize to him, his family, and most importantly, his sister. And they wanted a written apology or else they really would file a lawsuit against me. He said that the ball was in my court now and I could decide whether I wanted to apologize to them or deal with a lawsuit. I lost my temper and I instantly told him to get out and go live with his parents, just like his sister was, because they were a family of a bunch of enablers and I never should have expected him to be any better. We got into a really nasty fight and took a lot of pot shots at each other and our families. It was really bad but at the end of it, he packed his stuff and left. It has been a day since then and I have no idea how to go ahead now. I'm almost positive that they won't be able to file a lawsuit against me because they have no ground since I just said it in front of a bunch of his friends. And as far as I know, that hasn't exactly done any tangible real damage to her reputation. I also don't think that it's defamation if what I have said is true. So I'm not worried about a lawsuit but I also don't know if I should be feeling bad about what I did. Ida for telling my boyfriend's friends about the reason behind his sister's divorce because he made fun of my dad? Update 1, I decided that I had nothing to feel sorry about and that I was done with my boyfriend for good. I also haven't made up my mind about whether I'm going to refer to him as my boyfriend or my ex here so please bear with me. It doesn't matter if I say boyfriend or ex, I mean to refer to the same person. But anyway, he can't just make a mockery out of my dad just to get a few laughs out of his friends and then expect me to be alright with it. That stuff's not going to slide with me and I am actually pretty relieved that he left before I had to kick him out. This just means less of a hassle for me since the trash took itself out. Also, a lot of you had asked me the name of my dad's channel and as much as I would love to tell you guys, I can't because that would end up revealing my identity. I do hope you guys come across his channel organically at some point but I'm afraid I can't exactly share it with you guys and I'm really sorry about that. I told my father about this incident a few days ago since it's been 5 days since my boyfriend left. And my dad seemed a little hurt because he liked my boyfriend and they used to really get along. I didn't intend on sharing it with him because I didn't want to hurt him but they were having lunch together and he could tell that I was upset about something. So he kept asking me until I finally told him the truth. He tried his best to brush it off and act like it didn't bother him but I knew him just as well as he knew me so I could tell that it got to him that my boyfriend had been sitting around with his friends and making fun of him. I told him that I broke up with him over it. I skipped the part about me bringing up his sister's divorce to get back at him because I knew that my dad would not like that. He is a very passive guy who doesn't like getting into fights and has raised me to be the same way. So he wouldn't like the fact that I dealt such a low blow to my boyfriend, even if it was for his sake. I haven't heard back from my ex yet and there has been no lawsuit so far. I'm guessing that was just a bluff to get me to apologize, which didn't work because I'm not scared of them. I know he's going to be back because there's still a lot of stuff that he left in my house and he will have to come back and get it. I just hope that it happens soon because I want to forget about him altogether. It's not going to be easy because we had been together for a really long time but it's over now and there's no going back from what happened. Update 2, this morning, my ex texted me before work and told me that he would come by in the evening to pick up whatever he had left behind. This was the first text that I had received from him after our breakup and it's been almost two weeks since that took place. All his friends have blocked me on social media and so has his sister. I have got to say, I did see that coming and I'm not surprised. He is the only one who hasn't removed me yet but I think after today, he might too. I texted back that I would be home at 6 because I had to work overtime today and we decided that he would come by at 7, collect his things, and then leave. 
I was a nervous wreck once I got back home from work and the waiting was the worst part because I had nothing to do and my brain was in overdrive. I was dreading seeing him because it had been quite a while since we broke up and I had been avoiding even looking at his pictures since then. I wish I could say that I have moved on completely but I haven't and I still find myself missing him, despite myself. So before he came by, I had a few glasses of wine to calm my nerves and not act like a nervous mess when he finally came around. I left the bottle out on the coffee table which turned out to be a mistake because when he came by and I opened the door to let him in, the first thing that he noticed was the bottle of wine and gave me a weird look. I wanted to explain to him that I hadn't turned into an alcoholic because I was missing him but I didn't say anything because I didn't want to make it weirder than it already was. We didn't say anything to each other and he just headed towards our room and started packing quietly. I decided to sit on the couch and stick to scrolling on my phone because I didn't know what to do with myself while he was there. After about 20 minutes, when he was done packing, he came back out into the living room and told me that he was leaving. I didn't know what to say so I just nodded and went back to my phone. So he asked me if I had nothing to say to him because this was probably going to be the last time that we saw each other. Truth be told, I had so much to say to him but I didn't even know if it was worth it and that's what I told him. He just sighed and said that he had talked his parents out of filing a lawsuit against me because he still loved me and then waited for me to react to that. If I'm being really honest, I don't think I loved him anymore. Not as much as I used to. But I couldn't say that to his face because it would be just incredibly hurtful. So instead I told him that I also would have loved to make things work but after the last fight that we had, I couldn't bring myself to even consider continuing the relationship because he had been really disrespectful towards my father and the worst part was that he didn't even say anything wrong with it. He tried to argue and defend himself again but I interrupted him and stopped him before he could say anything since I didn't want to get into it once again. I knew that it would just lead nowhere and we would end up fighting again. I wanted things to end on a good note so I told him that arguing would be a waste of time. So he didn't say anything and told me that he would be waiting for my call, in case I changed my mind. But I don't think that I will change my mind. I do miss him and I wish we could get back together and make things work. But there are certain things that are just too difficult for me to work past and insulting my father and then threatening to file a lawsuit against me were just a couple of things that I couldn't get over so easily. So no, I don't think I'll call him and it's going to break both our hearts but it's for the best. I sincerely hope that he blocks me and moves on, that might make everything a tad bit easier for both of us. Update 3, it has been 3 weeks since my ex last visited to grab his things from my house and yesterday I ran into a friend of his at the mall. This guy had been present at the dinner party on the day when the incident took place and I half expected him to run the other way when he saw me since he had also blocked me on social media. But to my surprise, he started walking right towards me instead and came up to me to talk to me. I hadn't been expecting that so I had been caught off guard. He greeted me and told me that he wanted to talk to me about what happened on the day of the party. I didn't know what this guy could possibly want to talk to me about, since the damage had already been done and it's not like they had any direct involvement in the incident. So I told him to go on and I was quite shocked when he apologized to me for laughing at my dad's videos. I hadn't seen that coming at all and it took me a few seconds to realize that this guy was actually apologizing. Something that not even my ex had done, even though it was his fault. It took me a few seconds to process it, but then I told him that I forgave him and that I didn't really hold this against them. Because they were not my boyfriend, they didn't know what to me to be nice. It would have been great if they didn't laugh and ridicule my father but I was honestly more disappointed in my ex than with them. He told me that he still wanted to apologize because clearly that had hit a nerve with me and they regretted it because eventually, that's what caused our breakup. So I told him to forget about it and that it was fine and expected the conversation to be over but he still didn't walk away and said that he had a couple of more things to tell me. Now that really made me curious because I didn't think that we had anything more to discuss. He and I were not friends, we occasionally talked to each other whenever we met because of my ex but apart from that, we didn't know each other personally. So I couldn't imagine what more he had to say to me but I could tell that this could be important from the look on his face. And I ended up agreeing to hear him out and we went to the nearest coffee shop, so he could say whatever it was that he had to tell me since it was apparently a long story. As soon as we had ordered coffee, he started off by saying that my ex had been in touch with them after he left the restaurant on the day of our fight. They had a group text together and he had been consistently whining there about how I was overreacting and that I had no right to say such things about his family. He was trying really hard to make it seem like I had made that up about his sister's divorce and most of the guys in that group actually bought it, except for him. All the guys were actually egging him on to get me to apologize to him in writing and one of them even suggested that apologizing to him alone was not enough, I had to apologize to his family and his sister as well. His friend told me that he hadn't actually left the restaurant to go to his parents house like he had told me. But instead, he went to one of their friends house, the one who was celebrating his birthday, and spent the night there. Soon after I had pulled out of the parking lot, the rest of them had also left the restaurant and they reunited with my boyfriend at their friend's house. They spent the night plotting against me and they came up with a plan to scare me into apologizing by saying that his parents are going to file a defamation lawsuit against me if I don't. My ex's friend who told me all of this told me that he wasn't comfortable with any of it, probably because he was the only one with a conscience, and so he stayed out of it and even tried to tell my ex not to go through with that plan because it was stupid and it would most certainly end in a breakup. 
And then he recently found out that we had broken up. Even on the day that my ex had come by to pick up his stuff, he had texted his friends right after and told them that he had said that he loved me and he was very sure that I was going to call him back. Because he had noticed the very unfortunate bottle of wine on the coffee table and was pretty confident that I was miserable without him. And I was just trying to put on a strong front to make it seem like I was dealing with this better than I really was. So now my ex's friend was telling me all about the lengths that he had gone to and all the lies that he had told me post our breakup. My ex had never told his parents the reason behind our breakup and they were never really going to come after me. He had made all of it up, just to scare me and intimidate me, so that I would apologize. It was a sick way of playing mind games for an ego boost and I was horrified when I learned the truth. His friend said that he felt like he had to come clean to me, just in case I was thinking about getting back together with my ex. He wanted me to know that it wasn't a good idea and even though this was none of his business, he felt like it was his duty to warn me when he saw me at the mall. I thanked him for being the only one in his friend's circle with a spine and a conscience and then came back home. I had still been following my ex on social media but I blocked him everywhere yesterday because he doesn't deserve to have access to me in any capacity whatsoever. I even had half a mind to tell his parents the real reason behind our breakup because I was sure that he hadn't told them the truth but then decided against it because I didn't want to invite more trouble for myself. I just wish that I had never even met this guy because he turned out to be worse than trash, he was the kind of toxic trash that people shouldn't even be near, at the risk of contracting some disgusting disease. That's how he is and it's no surprise that his friends are just as bad as him, except the one guy from their circle who had the courtesy to tell me the truth. I pray that I never have to see him again because if I do, I might just get violent. Update 4, Hey guys. So it's been almost one full year since I broke up with my ex and I just thought that I would give you guys a little update on how I've been doing. Things were rough in the first couple of months following our breakup and I had major trust issues, so naturally I didn't see any guys during that time. Also because I had just had a 3 year long relationship turn out to be one of the worst mistakes of my life, I wasn't looking to date either. Instead, I started working on myself and it made me a lot happier. I started going to therapy to process the breakup and deal with my emotions instead of running away from them and it really helped. A couple of months after our breakup, maybe just 4 months, I heard from a friend of mine that my ex was already seeing somebody new. It was really difficult for me to come to terms with it at the time because it had just been 4 months since we broke up. And we had been together for 3 years, so it didn't make sense for him to move on so quickly. But I accepted the fact that this was out of my control so instead of mulling over it, I needed to just not hear about it again so I could fully focus on myself. I told all my friends that I never wanted to hear about my ex or what he was up to because it just didn't concern me anymore. And they respected it and stopped telling me about him. I don't know if he is still with that other girl or if he has broken up with her but the last time that I heard from him was about a month ago. He had texted me from his new phone number to let me know that he was moving to LA for work. That's all that he said to me and I didn't reply to it. Looking back on my old posts, I realized that I had come a long way and I'm really proud of myself. It wasn't an easy process at all and there were super dark days when I didn't want to do anything but lay in bed and cry. But I powered through it and now I'm living my best life. I wouldn't change a thing in the past, even if I had the choice to. Because at the end of the day, I'm happy with my life and how things worked out for me. So that's that and thank you guys so much for all the love and kind messages.